you know, like you could say like, okay, there's this unwritten rule, you know what I mean? And I'm at this cross country race, but in the end of the day, I was there to race, you know what I mean? And I wasn't there, you know, to like for anything else. And I think that's what people need to start immersing themselves in is just like forgetting about all those unwritten rules and doing their best in what they do. Mm -hmm. So, and then when there comes a time, which there most likely will come a time that someone will stop you and be like, Hey, that's, that's not allowed. You know what I mean? Or, or like in my case, Hey, you're, you're disqualified, you know? Um, that's when you understand your passion in the game, you know what I mean? Your passion in sports, your passion, whatever your profession is. And then you can, you can say, wait, no, I've been here for too long. I've been doing this for too long. I feel too much about this for you to tell me that this rule isn't okay. And that's when I think it's very important for people to tell their stories because you don't ever realize the amount of support that you have until you tell your story. Yeah. And something that resonates with me is like questioning these rules, challenging rules and unwritten rules and questioning things comes with ramifications of breaking things down. So in all reality, what happened to you after that? Okay. So, um, I gotta, I gotta say that again, it comes with the support system that I had. So like, I, I, I know that there was a couple hate messages, a couple of people being like, I mean, whatever you did this, you did this, this, and this. So therefore you don't get to complain kind of things. But honestly, I pushed that all aside and I didn't see most of it. Um, when Senate bill 288 came out, Senator Teresa actually called my mom that night after like the bill went public and she introduced it. And she was like, Oh my God, I can't believe all these messages I'm getting all these comments about, you know, how, how I shouldn't be doing this. And, you know, her general audience, you know, how they felt about that was, was not amazing. Um, and she was like, how's Nor doing? Is she okay? She's seeing these messages, these comments. My mom was like, no, no, absolutely not. She's not seeing these messages and comments. I am not, and was not on Facebook. So I'm not sure what goes on on Facebook, but I feel like people are so much meaner on there than any other platform. And um, my mom knows that. So I, I've never been allowed on Facebook, even today, you know, I'm 17. I don't think I'll ever go on Facebook. Um, just because I, I personally believe in like, the power of like consumption. And you know what I mean? Like if you're constantly consuming this negative energy, I'm, sh I'm not sure actually, I don't know, but it might have had an effect on me and where I am today and how I've grown. I might've not have grown as much as I have, you know, I might've stopped in my tracks if I had seen all these comments and all these, this negativeness. So I think that it's so important to filter out your social medias. And that's what it comes down to, especially if you're trying to be a face on social media, you have to be able to not look at the comments, block the comments and just do what you believe in. Because if your message is strong enough and if your message is um, good enough, you know what I mean? You'll get more love than you do hate because um, that's just, I think, the way that the world works.